Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Yevra here, my Sith Inquisitor. On the world of Taris. We've just arrived at the Republic Resettlement Zone. We have pushed the Republic and civilian refugees back to Alaris Spaceport. And we are now here to help plan and learn what position, what place we may have in the final assault. Savor the Republic's fear. I smell it, Master. Even when victory is hopeless, the Jedi rallied to defend their base. Pathetic fools. I hunger for their pain. Patience, Apprentice. We await Darth Gravis's command. Seems our fellow Sif are eager as well. Lord Shathin at your service. I was relieved to hear you'll be leading our assault. If your command of the force is any indication, this will be a proud day for all Sith. Darth Gravis, your friend has arrived. You've performed well. Taris is scarred. The Republic's support weakened. I trust you're ready to deliver the killing blow. The Republic won't survive another day on Taris. Such conviction will prove necessary in the fight ahead. Centuries ago, Darth Malak began the destruction of Taris. We're about to complete his work. We will crush the Republic Reconstruction and the Jedi responsible. Thanks to you, they're cornered in their base. Their final sanctuary on Taris. And soon to be their tomb. Don't worry, Gravis. I'll tear down their base, then soak Taris with Republic blood. Devastation deserves to be drawn out, appreciated. You'll just make a mess. I'm capable of more than you know. Hana, I knew you'd come running at the first scent of blood. Unfortunately, the base's approach is infested with Republic forces. They're blocking our army's advance. Rain bombs on their heads. They're shielded. Only close combat will work. Shields are not. I want them pulverized. They'll need more than shields to escape me. And me. I'm not passing up a good fight. Clear the battlefield. Then we'll hit the Republic base and finally drive them off Taris. Okay, yes, yeah, so Alaris does have a forward base. A checkpoint, if you will. We'll have to, uh, clear the checkpoint before we can hit the Republic base proper and gain access to Alaris spaceport. Speak softly, my lord. The Republic could be listening in on us this very moment. I'm Lieutenant Trace. I've been tracking Republic signals buzzing in and out of this base for weeks. I finally had to put a lockdown on all outgoing transmissions. My men can't even speak to their own mothers without my say-so. You're dressed casually for an officer. My uniform was a logical hiding place for any bugs, so I burned it. Been in these same civvies for six days now. You see this? It's a Republic transmitter. One of my men, dead now, tried to plant one under my desk a few weeks ago. I traced the bug's signal to a nearby Republic listening post, a communications hub of some sort. Turns out that listening post houses one of the Republic's primary satellite arrays. It's the keystone of their entire communications network on Terrace. How did they keep such an important outpost hidden for so long? It's located on the outskirts of a rat ghoul infested ravine. Our patrols won't go anywhere near it. Should have known better. We have an opportunity here to end Republic snooping, leave their spies cut off and their forces running blind. Unfortunately, I don't know which of my men I can trust, so I need you to run this one. Can you destroy that listening post? It will be amusing to watch the Republic fumble about blindly. I couldn't agree more. 
Knock out the satellite array and you'll render the entire listening post inoperable. Remember, though, that place is a military facility, and anyone who can survive in that wilderness will be a formidable opponent. Very well. We'll certainly keep that in mind. And we have a fellow Lord of the Sith here. I can't brief Lord Gravus now. I need time. Delay him. My lord, how? He won't be pleased. Use that undersized brain of yours to think of something, or I'll have it out of its little shell. Dismissed. My apologies. Such esteemed company is a welcome change from the fools I deal with, and timely if you would help me with my problem. The trials of being a Sith. All are fools by comparison. Tell me your problem. We've learned the Republic has secured sections of the Lower City Hydro Plant to serve their power needs. Lord Gravus ordered me to destroy their generators. But the squad I sent went missing before they even reached the objective. Useless. Meanwhile, the Republic reinforced its position. My men are simply outmatched. I can't imagine Lord Gravis will let such failure pass unanswered. True enough. Another failure and he will revoke my command. Fortunately, you and I have converging interests. Lord Gravis believes cutting off the Republic's power will cripple their operations enough to shift the balance of power on the planet. With your strength, you could disable those generators and strike a decisive blow against the enemy. And I would keep my lord happy. Agreed? Saving you from your master's wrath will put you in my debt. Very well. Go to the hydro plant. Find the functional generators and rig them to overload. I will, as you say, be in your debt. And one final request about the squad that went missing today. If you find any evidence explaining their disappearance, I would be pleased to see it. Very well. So we need to destroy the power plant supplying the Republic base. We also need to locate Lord Cormo's previous squad. We may as well make use of the heroic transport to get us to the north. And then cut our way south to the Republic checkpoint and then the communications array. I'm your man. So, this is the coolant pump generator. We need to find the central generation plant and the central transformer as well. We also have a bonus to deal with 20 of the Republic forces here.
Ooh, we have some Jedi amongst the reclamation forces. Private lad here. One of the missing Imperial troops. And yeah, this is the central transformer over here. Oh, sorry, it's not 20, it's 30 Republic forces we need to deal with. We have Private Asabi here. Private Diepenbrock. Ah, now we now need one more. Private Heron. to resist from overloading the central generation plan just yet as I believe I will auto complete the quest Private Heron, the final missing Imperial.
Aro Jamunja. Well, we almost got ourselves killed by being rather greedy there. But we survived. Just waiting to see if this group of enemies respawns. Taken a while for some of the Republic forces to respawn here. There we are. It's all of the Republic forces killed. Ah, bugger. And of course they respawned before we got back over here. Sounds about right. of my squad's demise. Perhaps now, Gravers will grant me more veteran troopers. You are welcome. Tell you what, what we'll do is go back to the Crater Command and then travel west from there. break through the, the gates of Alaris.
house. There we are. Is the gate's broken? Do we just leave devastation in our wake? But there is still one more task. Now just to cut off the Republic's communication array. back and report our success. Republic power, communications, and even their checkpoint have been destroyed. channels suddenly turn to static. By the time they get everything back online, we'll have already mopped up their scattered forces. Nicely done. I really am the best. I'll vouch for that. What a relief it'll be to have a private conversation again. I do all my best thinking aloud. I'll do a thorough check for any remaining bugs and have the other bases do the same. We'll purge those spies yet. Delightful. Now we could report our success to Lord Chafin. But what we'll do is take a break first. And when we come back, we'll be, of course, going through the final plans to deal with the Republic and Alaris Spaceport. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.